Greetings, everybody. It's Mr. Aaron from the House of Aaron, where I believe we believe they believe. And welcome back to another video. In this video, got to go back and explain what happened in the last video. So we were talking about the proper way to teach the letter sounds. And the song, it, the song wasn't the greatest, but I want everybody to still stay encouraged about the song and using that, the A says, ah, type, type beat. Uh, keep that same kind of rhythm. It's going to help. It's going to kick in. The children are going to get into it. You have to make it fun. You have to make it interesting. And it's going to carry them a long way because then they'll be able to start sounding out the words. Just as with this, with this, um, what is this called? With this banner here, with this thumbnail, whatever you want to call it, just like with this, they'll be able to go through and find certain words to, to sound out. Like, you have the, uh, you have words in here, the, way, to, they are like uh, sight words for the children. And so, just making sure that yes, the song did not sound great, but in the long run, it's going to work. And you, could, like I said, you could put it to any beat, any genre of music. Uh, you could switch up the cadence on the music. Um, make it fun. Make it fun and make sure you make it directly for the children that you're dealing with. So you're not going to go and uh, do just any kind of song, but you got to make sure it's good for that group of children. And so once again, like I said, we're just going back about the proper way to teach the letter sounds. So you say the A says A, ah, or you always want to start off by giving them a, a like something to prepare for so you say we're going to kick the alphabet sounds or say hey the sounds of the alphabet any of those things and you just the a says ah the a says ah every letter makes a sound the a says ah but just trying to mix it up if you're trying to mix it up for the children and make it fun and interesting you just change the beat and say the b says b b B, B, B. The B says B, 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 B. And so you want to do these things, and that way it keeps it fresh, it keeps it different, and you can change it every time. Or you can make funny voices and just switch it up without any music, and then you'll say something similar to the C says K, the C says, or you go uh, like how they do underwater or. Any kind of style, any kind of the style of you just making it fun for the children. So you got the A and the B and the C, and you heard it different ways on this on this one right here. So the A says ah, or the B says b b b b, or make it funny. The C says k, the C says k. So doing those things will keep it fresh and interesting for the children. Uh, it may make them laugh from time to time. But it's going to kick in. They're going to want to do it. They're going to want. To, they're going to want to mimic the funny voice or anything like that. And that's thing you know they learn and they sounding out words. They're going to use that C to make the K. They're going to use the A to make the A. And they're going to use the T to make the T. So they're going to start saying cat, cat, K A T, cat. And that's what you're building on. These are the foundation. Uh, foundational skills right here by learning the letter sounds so i thank you all for joining me on this video yes it was explaining so it's part 2a uh, for episode 2 next episode is episode 3 in which we get into some more fun music and movement with remixing the alphabet this is mr aaron from the house of aaron where i believe we believe they believe and we'll see you in the next video